I want to say good afternoon to everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, you know, I see my brothers and sisters, the king and queens. I, I believe we are king and queens. Am I wrong? Yes, I'm right. 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 And my sister, you're right. Mm -hmm. I've been advocating all my life from West Africa, Liberia, yeah. up to the U.S., went in the public school system for 17 years. Uh, I think God has me for a reason. But before I proceed, I just want to give many thanks to our brothers, TBS. I don't even know how to say thank you so much. My father always told me one thing. Do not forget to say thank you. We highly recognize the work that you do in New York City. And I want to let you know. And all the organizations here present, we thank you so much for putting your efforts. And that's what I think we need to do. You know, I want to say one thing here. Uh, Echo once said, uh, the musician, I'm going to say I'm a musician as well. Uh, he said something that's very interesting. He said, we have to learn to tell our own story. Mm -hmm. If we don't tell our own story, then someone's going to tell it for us. And they're going to tell it the way they want to tell it for us. That's right. So I think it's about time that we come together as brothers and sisters. I, I, I want to let you know something, uh, people. The coronavirus came for a reason. It put us separate. And you all in here know how you felt to be separated for a minute. So I think it's not a good feeling. So I think more of us come here to share our stories, to protect our children. For me, I came from a very poor country in that area. I sat on the Hudson, doing foreign exchange, took pictures, go to school, to my high, high school, you know, education in Liberia. And dreaming one day that I would come to the U.S. and go to school and become somebody. And my dream came to pass. So I think God got me here to speak to my people. The African Immigrant Commission, our mission is very simple. We just want to make our people comfortable, come out, empower their voices. We don't want you to stay in. Come in and express yourself. For me, I strongly to believe it is a system that's created. You can do what you want to do with me, but I will say it. It's created for us to fail. Simple as that. From mm -hmm. so what I have said. Gosh, I agree. It is a system. Now, the question is, can we break the barriers? Yes, we can break the barriers. Because you know what? I go back. We are king and queen. Believe and trust. My fellow brothers and sisters, we are king and queens. But we have to tell our own story. If we tell our own story, then our kids, when they go on the street, they'll be safe. When we tell our own story, we can voice out against violence. And you and me can walk in the street and feel free to walk. It's about time that we break the system. I believe it's the barriers. It's up there. But how can we break it? My father once told me, I quote, one tree cannot make a forest. Mm. It takes more than one tree to make a forest. And we are trees. We are right here. So we must come together, brothers and sisters. It's about time. I don't care whether you came from Africa, you came from Guinea. Look, we are king of queens. We must come together and we should be in peace with one another and try to fight against violence in New York City. We got to fight against violence in New York City. And that's what I recognize the TBS for the job they're doing. They've been there, done it already. And these are people that we need to work with. Like my brother Rightly said, you know, when he spoke, I listened to him and I saw where he came from. And we got to join hands with them and let's work together and try to stop this violence in New York City. And I will continue, no matter what it is, what it takes me, until God call me. I will advocate for our children because I believe there's a system out there and we got to break the system. So that when I come from Africa, the way I train my child, even the Bible said, train the child in the way she or he will grow up and will do what is right. So if you stop me from training my children because it's a system, then I'm sorry. Then you know what? Take me and put me in jail. Then I, I think you will close my mouth. But other than that, we have to fight for our kids because they deserve better.
They deserve a good education. They deserve a quality education. And they deserve life living in New York City. Thank you so much, guys.